My brothers, my sisters, I am here to tell you that it's not the end of the road. Look up and move forward. If, it, if at all you want to look back, it should only be to learn a lesson, but not to get stuck in it in such a way that you don't move forward. Remember this. So the Prophet wasallam, at the time of the victory of Mecca, which is a powerful example, he came into Mecca with an army of tens of thousands. And what happened? The people of Mecca who had harmed the Muslims, they had usurped their wealth, they had abused them, they had killed many of them, and so on. Here comes Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and he asks them the famous question, O people of Quraysh, what do you think I'm going to do to you today? Imagine someone who's harmed to that degree. I don't even want to get into it, but it's very bad. And then here comes the messenger with all the power saying, what do you think I'm going to do to you today? Imagine if a guy today from amongst us had to tell another who has killed from his family or usurped the wealth, driven them out of their homes for years on end. And he comes one day powerfully. What do you think I'm going to do to you today? They looked at him and says, you're a good man, the son of a good man. Oh, now suddenly I'm a good man. You see, all these years I was not a good man. La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Al Ali Al Azim. Now he, they said, Well, you know, we expect goodness. What would we expect? He says, Idhabu fa antumut No retribution today. Go, you are free. I'm going to tell you what Yusuf alayhi salam told his brothers. No retribution against you. Go, you are free. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. If the Prophet ﷺ wanted, he could have actually got every single one of them back. Every one of them. But no, there was a bigger picture. Let's move forward. Let's progress. We have an ummah to serve. We have families. We have relatives here. We have so much here. And you know what? A lot of these people are not Muslim. By us showing them the true teachings of Islam, they will enter the fold of Islam. And that's exactly what they did. Today, when people look at us, Muslims turn away from Islam because they let down by us. May Allah not do that to us. Today, when people look at us, they are discouraged. Today, we break relations of our families, ourselves. Here is the Prophet ﷺ saying, you know what? Let's make peace. Move forward from today. Don't go back. He never ever looked back. As a result, it was considered true victory. What is the true victory? Don't look back. Look forward. There is a lot to achieve. Yes, yes, yes. You need to understand if you were bitten from one angle, you will learn a lesson and not be bitten again from the same angle again. But at the same time, you need to know, just keep moving. I have a brother, very recent story, brother in Islam. He lost a job just before this COVID thing happened. And he told me, my brother, I want to get back at this these people, I know a lot about them and I really want to nail them. And I told him, my brother, instead of nailing people, you'd rather concentrate on yourself. By me nailing someone, it's not going to give me any goodness. Will it give you a job? No. You get a bad name, people won't want to employ you anyway. So what should I do? Look forward, make dua to Allah. Ask Allah, turn to Allah. He says, but I've been asking Allah for so many years for an increment and instead he's given me the loss of a job. You see, do you trust Allah's plan? That's the question. Do you trust Allah's plan? You've been making dua for an increment for so long and suddenly you lost a job. So you think, look, Allah's doing the opposite. Subhanallah. 